Lonely 82-year-old goes over to new neighbor's house, but little did they both know what was coming next. Shireen Caraballo was 32 with five children when she moved from Texas to Pawtucket, Rhode Island. She was nervous but excited to start a new chapter in her life and was praying her new neighborhood would be welcoming to her and her children. And to her relief, everyone was. Their neighbors welcomed them with open arms. But there was one neighbor in particular who would catch Shireen's eye. And when he came over to say hello, they both would never have imagined what would happen next. Paul Callahan, who was 82, broke the ice with his new neighbors when he lent them a ladder, and then soon he was coming over with other tools to lend and would even offer advice on how to use them. Paul was so friendly and charming that the more the young mother spoke to him, the more she got to know. And that's when Shireen would learn the real reason why Paul kept popping by. After having a meaningful conversation, the mother learned Paul had taken a liking to her and her family because it turned out his wife had died six months before the Callahans had moved in and he was the last of his siblings alive, Paul was simply extremely lonely. He was also a very social person as he had grown up around lots of kids and liked that Shireen had such a big family. Touched by his story, Shireen felt a pang in her heart. You see, she, her husband Wilson and their children all truly loved Paul and his company already, and so they decided they would bring him even closer to their family. They began to invite him to family gatherings and barbecues, and even gave him an outfit for Father's Day. The children call him Uncle Paul and enjoy the stories he regularly tells. And now the 82-year-old widow is no longer lonely as to him, and the Caraballos, he is their honorary grandpa. And now, part of the family.